All right, guys, so we have a GE side-by-side, -side, and this one was a freezer temperature, not cold, and refrigerator, of course, definitely not cold. So right now we're defrosting. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you could unplug the fridge, stick a fan in there, just leave it open get some towels put some towels down because you will have a lot of water now we're fast forwarding this obviously and once we get into the behind that cover i will show you or tell you what to do so you don't have too much water leaking on your floor because all that ice is a lot of water so basically what we have here is a defrost issue the unit is not going into its automatic defrosting. That's the evaporator. You can see how it is frosted up. Now to remove that, you have four screws, two on the top, two at the bottom. You do have to remove the light bulb and also the light bulb cover. Now we're fast forwarding here. You can see how thick that ice is. Ice is a very good insulator, so it will basically stop your fridge, that's the fresh food section, from getting the heat extracted from it. So how it works, the fan at the top, right above where I'm steaming, pulls the warm air from a hole in the bottom, which I'll show you, and the heat from the food is pulled across that coil. So that's how you get your cool or cold air. And of course, the heat is deposited on that coil. So when the unit is not able to go into defrost, or I should say not able to melt the ice, it does go into defrost, but the heater, in this case, is not responding. So we have a bad heater. And once the heater is fixed, then the unit is good to go again. Now, don't just replace the heater. You do want to do a good defrost, melt the ice properly, because if not, it's going to take you probably a month, maybe two months, if at all, it actually does melt all that ice. And what's going to happen is your refrigerator will still suffer and you're not going to get proper cooling. So make sure you fully defrost the unit before you install the new heater. I will have a link to the heater for this particular model. On GE's, you're going to have a 12 inch heater or a 9 inch heater. And it's a glass heater. I did not show the complete repair, meaning the heater installation, but it shows the heater removed and that was the fault. So once you have discovered that, you can test it with a meter. But if you're frosted up, there's a good chance, especially on GEs, it's going to be your heater. And it's going to be green and pretty much done. So just there's a hole back there. Make sure you defrost that. And you should see steam from that hole into the fresh food section. There's a bad heater, replace that, and you should be good to go. I did not show the complete repair. I was in a rush, so it never got shown. So get that done and button it back up, plug it back in, and you should be good to go. Make sure you get all the good steam or just make sure it's fully defrosted before you put the heater on because it will affect your cooling and after that you should be good to go all right thanks for watching yeah you still have ice hidden in the back so you got to make sure you get it all ran out of water but i'm good now <laughs>